He's gonna use it to harass. You get to harass back. I yeah, not, not even just that. Not only could you reflect power wave, but there's also like plenty of space denial when it comes to tool. We're not gonna get a chance to talk about that. I would love to see it, but we get the Wii Fit. This is the signature character of John Numbers, and I'm hoping a signature co-main or main for Jen, because I feel like there's a lot in Terry's kit that fits him as a player. Like, there's a lot of creativity behind what his kit allows for. He's got plenty of ways to return to the stage. No shortage of ways to kill. And of course, he's got that X factor once he gets his uh, supers up and going. Okay, now this is really, really scary for numbers because one good conversion from Jen here. And I just love the way that Jen reapplies a lot of his like Palutena ledge trapping fundamentals to Terry. A character that might necessarily have nearly as good of a tools, but the way that Jen is able to control ledge against a player like numbers, he's able to like get so much damage. Getting the jab, jab into the... Oh, goodness, I can't remember all of these names. Yeah, you'll, you'll get it over time. Yep. <laughs> Into the down B, I guess. Um, numbers with the falling back here, and he has deep breathing, so that almost kills. But you know, this is really, really scary for Numbers because Terry has go active. Yeah, it's all a matter about what Jen's going to actually try to do, but striking on shield, not the best of options, especially while Numbers has got all the buffs going on. Some healthy breathing there, but... It's the good DI that's keeping the numbers alive. Out deep, Power Dive not going to be killing like that. Ah, oh, Power Dive, that's the name of it. And I love the down tilt there, just like stuffing out his attempt to soccer ball. But unfortunately, not shooting the soccer ball back at him. Trying to poke his shield a little bit with those down tilts, but numbers staying really, really patient. Wow, okay. Power tackle coming out from. But still, Numbers staying alive. This is kind of what I want to see out of Numbers, try to play the patient game. He's got the lead. He's got the ledge. It's all a John could ask in life. I like the double down tilt check on shield just to see what Numbers' reaction is going to be. And the way that he mixes up the timing on it, too. It's not like down tilt, down tilt. It's like down tilt, pause, down tilt. But does Terry have a down throw kill field? I suppose so. All right, listen, at 188, I hope anyone has options. Yep, but John using the F throw right there. Uh, right now, John has to find a way to get back on the stage, but was that untackable? Well, I do believe I saw red those sparks. Yep. Like, given the amount of knockback that was involved with that, I don't even think like any amount of like adjusting your, your flight pattern would have helped. And Number is actually falling out of the jab jab power drive. Right now, Jen is looking to get anything started at ledge, but Numbers is able to successfully subvert his ledge trapping and he grabbed him through some kind of an attack. I was not able to see which one that was in time. And right now, Numbers is just like piling on the lead to himself. He seems to like be really, really comfortable with like the way that he wants to be pacing this game right now. Like, I think the most dangerous thing that Numbers is bringing to the table here is how well he's been able to pressure shield because he's forcing yeah. Jen to run into him, and because of that, Jen's just constantly getting met with buttons. Buttons that are bringing Numbers in favor for game one. And I feel like there is something to be said about his use of the F smash right there. I think that was bait, because that was because he just F smash completely, totally away from Terry. He has a stock lead. You saw Jen rush in, and then he died to a back, it, whatever move that was that finished him off on the last stock there. But um, he just like threw him off a little bit, maybe with how little end lag the F smash has. Going into game two, they're going to be opting through Battlefield, and this is definitely a stage where Kelly can keep the, his opponent like juggled up in the air and get a lot of different like combo extensions. He's got a ton of options when it comes to combo extension, as well as just being able to play that classic Defend the Fort style. If Jen can maintain center stage control, he'll be fine. But Numbers is so good at being able to control stage when it comes to these like mid, uh, mid to small stages and sizes. And Wii Fit's kit offers so many ways to shark the plats that I feel like Jen has to constantly stay loyal just to avoid any of the variety of ways that Numbers can harass him. Like, look at this. This match just started. Numbers has got Terry at 130 and counting. Jen hasn't had an opportunity to land on the stage proper. Uh, going through the power dive on his shield, but getting punished for it. Right now, like, Jen is sitting at 156%. This is really, really scary stuff. I wish Jen wouldn't land with power dives so much because landing with that hitbox, Numbers keeps on running into it and shielding it because yeah. he knows he gets the out of shield punish so easily. And Numbers is getting the reverse hitbox on his F tilt, launching uh, Jen into the skies, getting an F tilt into dash attack. And right now, Jen finally able to get a little bit of percent for himself, going through the 
I think that was a down A, but again, not able to connect these commitments. Alright, once again, reset the situation. And Hard Eye is just so comfortable to come down with. I know he needs a quicker option to come down, but... Like, Numbers had such a clear game plan for that one move, and because Jet's putting it out so much, he's getting so much off of it. Yep. Oh, my. Oh, but at least it doesn't drop his hit confirms. Was what? that a shield poke? Or did he drop his shield preemptively? Because I feel like Jen, the whole entire set was conditioned to, I'm going to down tilt on your shield twice, and then you're going to jump out, and I'm not going to punish you for it. And in that instance right there, he did the down tilt on his shield, but mix it up with the jab. Numbers is still able to take the stock for himself with an F tilt. And now this is looking really, really scary for Jen. He has a whole stock down. He has essentially no percent on Numbers. Um, and I feel like Numbers is also like falling out like a lot of Jen's controls. Maybe finally learned how to DI them properly. Yeah, too. you know, I was just about to bring that up. You notice how we keep on seeing Jen go from there into um, Power Attack specifically. Oh, uh, that's just a tragedy. All right. Well, that's the 2 out, and that's well, for numbers. The key is to focus on your balance. All right, what I was going to bring up is that every time we saw uh, Terry land the Nair, and you would see Power Tackle, because of the, the hit animation of Wii Fit, I think her herd box shifted downwards out of the way. Yeah. Because she, like, lurches her neck out while Terry's, like, diving forward. I think he just straight up misses her. 